who needs a man when your friends are top tier? I just want to know. Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new weekly vlog. So, today is Sunday, November 13th, and you guys already saw me starting to do my Sunday reset, but I ran out the house real quick to get some things for the house, which you guys should have seen in Wednesday's video, which was moving vlog number six. But I wanted to start this vlog because I'm about to run in Zara real quick, and I wanna show you guys like what they have and anything that I find. So I was just like, let me go ahead and start off this vlog so i can show my girls and my boys what i find but before we get started with today's video make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your bell notifications give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so yeah i came to baybrook mall because i have to get some things to the house and i was like let me just go in zara because i could charge my car like i look for any excuse to go in zara once i'm near zara just know i'm going in period Stormy's charging. Let's go. <laughs> Girl, it was a whole bunch of nothing in Zara, but maybe that was God telling me. That's not the reason I came out the house. Yeah, I'm about to see if I could find something to eat. The individual staring from me, but God was just telling me, like, sis, you didn't come out the house to go to Zara, so what are you doing in Zara? Hey guys, so I'm back home. As you guys saw in, what was it, Wednesday's video? Wolfen vlog number six. Your girl finally has a temporary office space and it feels good. It really feels good because now I'll be able to separate like when I'm working, when I'm editing videos versus when I'm, you know, having a bite versus when I'm sleeping and I'm here for the separation. I'm here for it. So I'm about to start editing um, monday's video so my acne journey update slash nighttime skincare routine and i was up today and i was thinking because when i'm driving i'm always thinking and i was just like i haven't been giving you guys like influencer tips so if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now you guys saw that before i used to do like my influencer chats where i basically shared tips based on my experiences of things that work things that didn't work when it comes to being an influencer when it comes to working with brands and those videos did okay but they weren't like y'all wasn't messing with it so i get it because not all of you guys are influencers so i told myself and i told you guys that throughout my vlogs i'll start sharing tips so now that i have my office space set up and i can actually like show you guys things if i want to show you guys things or temporarily set up i was like well, let me start doing it in this vlog so each vlog i'm gonna try to sprinkle in like some tips here and there if you are an influencer, you know, take your pen and your notepad out. If you have a YouTube channel, if you have a TikTok, whatever the case is, hopefully these hopefully these tips can help you. So the first thing that I wanted to speak about were some tips on how my videos or how things that I think have attributed to my videos attracting more views. So on average, my vlogs used to do, I remember, hmm, let's sit here and chat about growth, okay, honey? I remember when I first started posting vlogs during the pandemic, you know, pandemic, um, my vlogs were averaging like 100 views. And at that time, that was amazing for me because I'm like, 100 people want to see what the hell I'm doing in my life on a weekly basis during the pandemic and we ain't going nowhere. That's lit. 
So over time, I feel like I have taken certain things into consideration and they have helped enhance and increase the amount of views that I see on not only my vlogs, but on my sit down videos as well. So the first thing that I wanna say is to make sure that you are taking your time to curate your thumbnail. If you think about it, the first line of introduction that a viewer has to your video, to your channel, is your thumbnail. So if your thumbnail is not popping out, nobody's clicking on it and that's the real tea. So I've been more intentional about what I want my thumbnails to be, what I want my thumbnails to look like. So for my vlogs throughout the week, I make sure to get at least three photos that I can go ahead and make a collage of to create my thumbnail for my vlog. When I'm doing sit down videos, some of them I do the same thing like a collage and some of them I do um, like just one frame. So I would just say when you're recording a video, when you're creating content, even if it's like Instagram Reels, just to make sure that you have a picture or pictures for thumbnails that is the first thing a person sees so think about it like if somebody looks at this will they want to click on a video so some things that i found that help with like vibrant thumbnails is wearing pops of color so a lot of times when you scroll through everything kind of blends in with like the neutrals with the whites but it's like if it's a pop of color then it's like, hold up, baby, what you doing here? So, pops of color, whether it be, like, a clothing item you have on, um, a view that you see, like, some type of scenery, pops of color help, color in your thumbnail help, I will say that. Even if you put, like, colored font when you write, like, the title of the video or whatever you put on a thumbnail, that helps as well. So, that is the first tip. Make sure your thumbnail is popping, period. My next tip is to make sure that you are taking your audience's comments into consideration. So... Back in the day, I remember when I first started doing my videos, people used to comment all the time, like, damn, this video was good, but she popped her mouth too much. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, you know how when you're thinking, you just, you know, I don't want to do it because it's going to irritate my soul now. But I didn't realize how much I did it until I saw all the comments. And then I went back, like, damn, is it really that bad? And I'm like... I can see how that can bother a viewer. So when people comment on your videos and say things, don't always take it as they're trying to come for you. Like, a lot of times people are trying to help you out. And you don't realize it until later on or until you sit back and you see things from their perspective versus yours. So, I'm going to tell y'all now. People may not comment on your videos and say it, but if you're popping your mouth in your videos, edit it out. Edit it out. It's a cute little half a second or whatever the case is. Just edit it out. And then over time, I feel like once you see how much work it is to edit it out, naturally you just stop doing it. <laughs> so that is one thing that people commented on that I took into consideration. And the second thing was for my alpha of the days, like in my vlogs where I'm showing people what I have on, the girl said we want to see everything in one frame. That's something I never thought about because I'm just like, here you guys can see each piece. But it's like I understand you guys want to see how everything looks together. So... That is something else I've been working on when it comes to my weekly vlogs. Yeah, just take what people say into consideration. A lot of times people be going to be in the comments talking shit. I'm not saying people ain't going to talk shit. I'm just saying it. You need to weed through and see what's the talking shit versus what's like the constructive criticism that can help you grow and improve on your channel or on your platform. My next tip is to cross promote. So whenever I post a video on YouTube, y'all see it on my Instagram. And whenever I post something on Instagram, I put it in my YouTube video. And not only that, but when I'm posting a YouTube video, I'm referencing, I try to reference at least five other videos since you can put five, um, what is it called, cards in the videos. So that way when people are watching my videos, it just naturally flows. Like, y'all want makeup details? Because do y'all really want makeup details? Because I'll have that linked above in the cards, okay? But just find ways to have that viewer engage where it's like if somebody's if this is somebody's first time on your channel make them want to stay sell yourself sell your channel so that is something that i'm intentional about doing throughout my videos and i was well and my last tip is to share random thoughts and knowledge when i go on anyone's channel when i click on anyone's vlog my objective is to learn at least one thing whether it's a return policy of a brand whether it is something that i could do to help me save money whether it is something that i can do to make me feel better on a daily basis whatever it is just share random facts and share random interests because you never know who could be interested or you never know who could think of it like wow i never thought of it that way you know what i'm saying so just share random things a lot of times i feel like we come on these social media platforms trying to be so polished trying to be so preppy bettered out and it's just like People want relatable 
content so i find that that's something that i appreciate and something that i try to incorporate in my content so that people can relate to but those are the tips that i want to share in this weekly vlog comment and let me know if you guys find any of these helpful comment if there's like anything specific you guys want to hear about but um yeah i'm about to have dinner edit this video and then oh shoot i think real house house of potomac is about to come on Hey guys, it is Tuesday, November 15th. It's pay day, it's pay day, and the money's already gone, okay? <laughs> But I just did my makeup. I recorded two reels. I recorded a makeup reel and I recorded my splish splash challenge reel. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because I'm trying to keep up with the girls. Okay, I'm trying to keep up with my content. So give me my flowers down below. But I am getting ready because I'm about to record my Black Friday sale video. So you guys should have already seen that before this video. So I'm just going to go set up everything. I came out here to tell. Oh, I wanted to give y'all an update on that one size bronzer. So let's talk about it real quick okay so this bronzer i picked up during the sephora vib sale and i got the shade dark trio so let me open it just so y'all can see and this is how it looks but i need the darker the darker palette because these just have me looking ashy muddy like my makeup came out okay today but i could just see the imperfections like i could see where things aren't how i want them to be so that's gonna go back and i'll exchange it for ooh, not leaving the light on i think the darker shade is called like deep yeah so i'm about to record my video i just put on this over to your body suit and then i'm gonna put on this tear cardigan y'all see me in this already but youtube didn't or maybe y'all did i don't remember but either way i'm wearing my clothes so let me go record this video and then i need to go out the house to run some errands because i am heading to new york tomorrow so i have to get things done before i leave so i'll see y'all when i'm done recording my video now my water in my way <laughs> just finished recording my video okay and i'm about to get ready now to run out to do errands one thing that i realized is i don't like being outside the house after the sun sets i don't know what it is call me busy okay but once the sun sets i'm like i need to be home like that's when all the boogie monsters come outside that's when all the creeps be outside that's why you can't see where you go because they don't believe in street lights down here like when it's dark i just want to be inside so i'm about to head out now to run errands so what do i have to do I have to go to the car dealership because my plates came in so I no longer have to ride around with my temporary tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my license plates and my inspection. And then I wanna go to Target because I have to return something that I got the other day and there's also some other things I wanted to look for because the Target. And then I wanna go to Sephora because I wanted to pick up this skincare product during the sale which I forgot about but it's not that expensive so I'm gonna just go ahead and pick it up so that I can start trying it out. And then I am going to go to this furniture store that came up as an ad on my Instagram. <laughs> Yo, Instagram ads are dangerous. Like, they're dangerous. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over there because they're having, like, a sale. So I'm going to see if I can get, like, any items to my home from there. So you guys will see that in my moving blog, which was posted on Wednesday. So make sure y'all check that out. And then I think that's it. I just got to my car dealership, so I'm gonna head in and I'm gonna let them put the plates on because I don't feel like doing it myself. <laughs> Soft life. Hey guys, so I'm at Target. Oh, I, oh, I have to tell y'all. Went to the car dealership, got my plates on, got my inspection, and they gave me a check for a reimbursement for my registration and inspection. So I need to go to JP Morgan Chase to 
pop her in and my tank is on e <laughs> one thing about this car baby the gas is gonna be gone before you know it okay one day is here one day it's not get with it or get lost so i'm not putting any gas in my car before mm, should i maybe i should use that check to put gas in my car but i'm leaving tomorrow so it's just like well, I spend money on putting gas in my car, but then when I get back, I'm gonna be hyped that it's gas in my car. So I should just go put gas in my car, right? Oh, it's a chase, right? I'm gonna put gas in my car. I'm gonna go cash my check, and then I'm gonna go put gas in Stormy. I leave her off on a good note. But we're about to go on Target. I came back to the Super Target, the same one I bought the rugs from. Guess where I am? At Raisin Cane's, duh. I'm hungry and I still have errands to run so I was like let me stop to get food before I get too hungry because when I get too hungry I literally don't want to do anything but to go home and eat so I'm just like let me just go to Racing Kings because it's right here anyway so yeah and I'm getting my regular degula I get a Kenya combo which comes with six chicken strips and I get fries and I asked them to do it well done because I don't like seeing white fries. Like, what is that? And then I get a high C for my drink and I get lots of ketchup because I love ketchup. And it's pronounced ketchup, not ketchup. It's ketchup. Like ketchup host. <laughs> okay, okay. Can we help you today? Hi. Can I have a candy combo, please? What kind of drink? Um, a high sea fruit punch. And can I have um, double fries instead of coleslaw, please? Anything else? Um, can I have my meal done crispy? You said just the chicken? The chicken and the fries. Okay, it's gonna be sixteen seventy two. Thank you. Thank you. They don't have no good music playing today. But what I wanted to tell y'all, oh, is that I posted on Instagram and I said, if you are, when I come to New York, don't ask me to do nothing unless you pay him. I think I told y'all that already. My friends are so sweet, like, they want to take me out. Like, my friends swear they my men, and I love it because who needs a man when you have amazing friends? Like, who needs a man when your friends are top tier? I just want to know. Because it ain't me. Men who? Men where? Even though I do have some dates set up, but that's a whole nother story for another day, okay? But dating has just been so friggin' ghetto. My car is literally on 35 miles. So I should be fine. But dating has been so ghetto like i can't wait to sit down and do a story time for y'all or start story times because it's just so ghetto it was double fries no small extra fries so oh yeah crispy. thank you gonna catch up today oh wait let me give you a different card um yes ketchup please oh this has see is good they put a little extra twang in it Okay, it's not right uh, ready right now to just pull it from the patio and then bring over the car. Just find it ahead. Yes, okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, most of the time when I order my food, they they tell me to pull over because the food ain't ready yet. But I like my crispy, extra crispy. This hot seat isn't busting. Busting. Let's give him bust down, Tatiana. Oh, and I bought something to put in my car the other day. So another car essential. Some Purell so that you know when you want to eat in your car you could clean your hands properly because I was using my small bottle of hand sanitizer but it was running low so I said let me just get the big joint to go in here and then also when I went to Cabo the other day I stole not I stole because I paid for my order so I need all of the I need all of the perks I got some straws to just keep in my car so yeah at the gas station about to pump my gas and I'm turning my camera on for security reasons actually because I don't know what's going on at this gas station but let me be quick. <sighs> we are back in the car safely, but there's some um, people in the gas station asking for money. Baby, I don't have any money for you. I'm sorry. I could barely money in my damn car <laughs> i'm sorry okay i put 15 dollars in because the gas is a few cents cheaper near my house so i'm just gonna fill the rest of my tank oh we almost had half a tank with 15 dollars okay gas prices so yeah i'm about to head to my next stop 
and then I'm gonna go to Sephora and then I am going home so that I can pack and clean up my home before I head out so let us go who am I listening to who does listen to some Glorilla have y'all listened to Glorilla's Glorilla's project Sephora and then I stopped in this store premium goods it's like a sneaker store but how did I end up spending $130 in Sephora like how I just I'll show y'all what I got when I get home but um I'm about to head home now I had to park on a dark ass block so I'm gonna have to run to my car because I don't need anybody stealing me at this time of night it's having night it's like six o'clock and it's pitch dark like you can't even see me <laughs> just got home and i gotta pee <laughs> i'm home do you guys see how uneven my hair is like the back is so long and the front. <laughs> I'm getting my hair trimmed when I get home. So that'll be resolved. But I wanted to give you guys a quick little Sephora haul. And I decided when I was driving home that I'm also going to record a reel tomorrow with the stuff that I got. But first thing that I got is this Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrated Body Body, body moisturizer i had this on my sephora wishes for a while and i saw it in the store and i'm like let me just go ahead and get it so i got it you guys know it's the cooler months and this has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in it so we're gonna see what it's hitting for because when i went on vacation or when i went away my legs got bit up bad by mosquitoes so i'm currently in the process of like clearing those dark marks so I've been using Palmer's, but since this has an niacinamide in it, I figured that it could help with that too. This is a product that I really want to support for. It's a Polish Choice 10% Azalic Acid Booster. So I actually had this before and I ended up gifting it to someone. I don't know if I told y'all. But I went ahead and picked it up. Turn it on. I went ahead and got this. Ooh, it's a dark. I like it better like this. But yeah, I went ahead and picked this up. So I'll give you guys an update on how it works with dark spots. Azalic acid has properties of clearing uneven skin tone. So let's see. And then I was watching Aaliyah's face vlog yesterday. And she mentioned these um, concealers that were trending on TikTok. This is the closest mask. Kosas mascara, the Kosas concealer. I love the Kosas mascara, but I got two shades. I got shade 8.8N, which is like my skin tone, and then the shade 7N, which is like a highlight tone. I showed you guys swatches when I was in the store, so I got these two to try. I'm not sure why they're in different um, packaging, but yeah, got those. And then I got this Sephora collection sponge case. Mm. When you're walking around Sephora, you just see all types of random things, especially in like the Sephora collection part. So I got this to put my sponge in, I guess, when I travel. So that's everything that I got from Sephora. I'm about to wind down and get myself together. I need to edit Wednesday's video for you guys. So I'll see you guys in this vlog tomorrow when we're getting ready to head to New York. So yeah. Good morning, it is Wednesday, November 16th, and I woke up to a package from Osea on my doorstep. If y'all know me, y'all know I mess with Osea. So first, the PR package had these samples in it. So it's a sample of their Enhanced Protection Cream. 
and then a sample of their firming eye cream i'm definitely gonna try this one because i love their eye serum and then we got the goods baby we got the goods so let's see this is details for me Ooh. oh my god they sent me a set of minis which is right on time because your girl is traveling today and then they sent their body oil y'all know how i feel about this body oil right here bro thank you so much osia love 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 thank you guys so much product for my lips i feel so naked so i'm trying to see if i could find like a um, venom machine that has a lip balm for me because there's no way i have a million lip products and i don't have one in my bag i don't think i've ever used this on my lips it was 379 i gotta see how much this is in a regular store Thirty-six. Any brown, you both die. Oh, not somebody still Okay, I feel way better that my lips are moisturized. Save my receipts. I'm about to fix my description box for my video. I just uploaded. Are you from New York even? Do you have a big back puffer even? Mm -hmm. The OT's know where we at with it, okay? I am in New York now. My hair looks so good. But I'm about to get ready to go to bed because I have to go into the office tomorrow. So yeah, had a long day. And I'm about to have a longer day tomorrow. So, yeah. See y'all. Mariana. So, next day, I'm home from work. Had a long day. Like, when I say how a long day, we're going to talk about it later. But, I'm about to get my hair trimmed. Oh, my God. My hair looks so crazy. The wind. <laughs> but, I'm going to get my hair trimmed. I have not trimmed my hair since, like, April or May. So, yeah. And, I got Kim a little surprise. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all what it is. But, I want to record a reaction. Because... Kim don't allow you to surprise her, so. You know what? Let me just show you. Yeah, sure. So the thing is, like, I have a toilet bag. It's really warm. I have to probably clean this whole thing, right? So I pop this part off. Uh-huh. And then this goes onto the mason jar. And then this goes over just like that. Boom. Onto the blender. Oh. And then she just put it, yeah. Oh, but this is kind of like my blender. Yeah, but I guess if you don't have the little oh, cups, okay. you could just use a mason jar. Oh. 
Not a facial reaction. Um, wait, what's this? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is, guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> about to trim this here. Long overdue. I'm about to look like a mushroom. Uh, all right, you put me too high now. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> Don't make me look like a mushroom, please. I thought you said your hair was blow dried. Oh, it is. It just caught a little air. You know, it was windy today and shit. So yeah, this side was a little longer, so it was actually down here. So mm -hmm. I kind of cut it to even it out with this okay. side, which is a little shorter. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. <sighs> Let's give it mushroom. Give it five-star mushroom. Oh my God, I can't even do my tuck like we we'll have an extra look. Once I tuck, it's done. Look. It's a grosser boy here. Oh, not you call your boy, Scally Wag. <laughs> Just like it looked like a dramatic difference, and then like seeing the. We gonna fuck up the name. I got some things that I need to show y'all, but first, I need to eat because I'm hungry. And guess what I ordered? I got some Gold Star. I'm gonna get some Gold Star, some current chicken roti. Okay, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Just lay in there. And I got some fried chicken. And then I got some white rice. Because I like to eat the white rice with the curry. Roti. I don't know how much to eat roti with these nails. Curry roti. But. <laughs> and I got a pineapple soda. So. Why is it not focused? Okay. Pineapple soda. Fried chicken. Cabbage. White rice. Curry chicken roti. Hey guys, so I just finished eating and I definitely messed my nails up, but I have no regrets because that food was too good, okay? I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but this finger, curry. <laughs> um, but I did get some things in the mail, slash order some things, so I wanted to show you guys. So I don't think I gave you guys an update, but i forgot what video it was i was telling you guys that these glasses i got from giant vintage that they got scratch but they sent me another pair they were generous enough so this is a new pair what's this this is barb's flash barb's flash from giant vintage period so i have these here i'm trying to figure out how to transport them to like, back home with me home equals houston so yeah, I got those and then I got some pieces from the Sergio Rossi collection when he collaborated with Target. It's still, the items are still available. Most of the time they're going to stay sold out, but they come back in stock. So make sure you guys are checking. So I got this beret. This is a houndstooth beret and it did come in one size, but it does have stretch to it. So this is how it looks on head just for reference. But it has a lot of stretch to it, okay? So, I got this. I think this was 20 bucks. I'm putting all my stuff I have to bring back with me together. And then I got these leather gloves. These are genuine leather gloves. And these were only 35 cash. So, they came in black, red, and purple. But I really wanted the black. Because I'm like these with a leather coat. And they fit with my press on nails on. Because my problem with gloves is always that... My nails are too long because y'all know I used to have my Bible grippers on deck. But, you know, now we're a little bit more conservative with the short all men. But this is how they look on. So if you do have, like, you know, thicker arms or whatever the case is, it does have extra room in it. But how you doing? <laughs> they feel so luxurious and they're only 35 cash from Target. Like... I don't think you guys are understanding the severity of what I'm saying and how much you guys need it. I got a gift from Nike. They sent me these sneakers a while ago, actually. 
and they just been sitting like here in the Bronx. I didn't realize, I feel like I just came home, but then I was thinking about it like I haven't been back, not home, but I just came to New York and I haven't been here for over a month. So these are, so good. they look even better in person. These are them, they are Air Forces, and these are special Air Forces, okay? Let me let it focus so y'all can understand what's going on here. These are special Air Forces because these are the Bronx Origins. Because y'all know I'm from the Bronx. Bronx, bitch. Anyhow, period. Even though I'm in Houston now. But these are dumb. Super cute. Like, look at the detailing. Do not play with Nike. But, babes, the outfit I have planned for these, the girls are not going to know what's coming for them. They ain't going to know. Did they send me a little no? Yes, only the best come from the Bronx. Celebrate your Bronx origins with the latest 40th, 40th anniversary Air Force Ones. Nike, New York City. Thank you so much. I'm going to give them a little post. Okay. Make the piece real cute. And y'all know I've been feeling Air Force Ones a lot lately. So, super excited for these. And then after work today, I had no business, but I went to Zara. <laughs> no business. So let me show y'all what I got. And I actually want to try it on because I did not try it on in store. So BRB. Annie, this is my Flamingo show to me. But the first item that I got is this sweater. It's like a knitted bagged hem sweater. You got to see the details. This is a size large and it does like the sleeve doesn't the shoulder doesn't sit on your shoulder. It's like more of, I think it's called like a rag sleeve where it comes down. So it gives like a nice, loose, relaxed fit. I like it. I didn't want to like it because I'm like, damn, should I be spending $50 on a sweater right now? But I like it and it's cropped. So it gives like, you know, a little sexy action. So yeah, comment and let me know. Keep or return. And then I got this corset. Super cute. And babes, I got this in a size small. It don't fit. It don't fit. I don't know if it's because I have shoulders of a quarterback, but it don't fit. Okay, your girl got some linebacker wide shoulders. But this, it didn't fit. It didn't fit. And I felt like it was going to fit so nice. So, this has to go back. I either need like a size large or a medium. It's more of a large. So, that's everything I wanted to show you guys. So, what's my plan? Tonight, I'm just going to chill. Indulge in some self-care. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it too much. But not be Simone saying she don't shower every day. Baby, what you mean you don't shower every day? What do you mean? What do you mean? To sit there? My concern is to sit there and verbalize and say that you do not shower every day. As a woman. As a person. As gender. As a person, it's just like, what do you, like, what, I'm not understanding, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm sorry, not I, yeah, I'm just gonna sort through my mail and just relax for the rest of the night, I'm currently watching Kyra's vlog, and I'll be back tomorrow, and, yeah, I have some things to do, so we gonna figure it out, I also still have my clothes here, like, I was like, oh, I should be able to be done taking my clothes back this time. I have mad clothes here. So, I'm going to sort through, see what I'm bringing back. See what I'm getting rid of, if I'm getting rid of anything. And, yeah. So, I'll catch you guys. Manana. Day one of being a mushroom. <laughs> my hair, just, I don't know if it's just me, but my hair just seems so much shorter, bruh. I'm sad, but today is Friday. It is Friday and the work week is over. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I have next week off of work. Period. I took time off and then we had the holiday Thursday and Friday. So I'm just going to use that time to prepare for Vlogmas and just get myself together. I'm going to start pre-recording. So this is actually what I believe is going to be the last vlog before vlogmas you guys are gonna get a vlog next sunday but it won't be a weekly vlog so everything else that occurs in my life i'm gonna do it as content for vlogmas because i need to get ahead because 
December is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, y'all know this is my fourth consecutive year doing vlogmas, so I know what I have to do to prepare myself, and I'm gonna do that. So yes, that's what's going on. I'm about to get ready to head to the store because since I don't live here no more, ain't nothing in the house to eat, ain't nothing in the house to drink. So I'm gonna go get some stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready to go, and then I think I don't know if I should stop at. I think I'm gonna go to Cross County and then I'll go to Target. Yeah, I think that'll be my vibe. Sidebar, why I randomly thought about, I didn't vlog, but when my cousin Shani had visited me in Houston, my other cousin Kim had came over and we were just like chilling and we asked and we said, Kim, you have a boyfriend? She said, ooh, no. <laughs> but it was given like, why would I ever? Like boyfriend for what? Like what is a boyfriend? The great response like that response literally sent me and i've been thinking about it ever since because whenever people ask me now are you single and i'm like oh no mm -mm. i don't engage in such activities i don't engage in such toxic i don't i don't uh oh no okay your girl's bundled up because it's cold as hell in new york so real quick i have on this jupari hoodie black owned brands i have on my levi jacket that i got when i was thrifting in la i have on my targets y'all gonna see these pants a lot while i'm in new york okay these are my target aritzia sweatpants dupe pants and then i'm gonna carry my gucci soho bag because this is one of the only bags that i have and i'm going to put on my current fave i had left her the last time i came and we are reunited and it feels so good. This is the Joe Malone Scarlet Poppy. Babes, if you're looking for a full winter scent to, to bring all the boys to the yard, this is it, okay? This fragrance is so friggin' good. Like, I wanted to get the full size, but I had to, I had to calm myself down. Yeah, so I'm oh, not me swallowing the perfume, but I'm gonna head out now. So I'll see y'all when we get outside. Oh, this is so cute to do s'mores on them. Okay, here is how the outfit fit. I love the fit, but if you know me, you know what's irking me. The way that the buttons are pulling and tugging is killing me. So this top was a size small, and I know you guys are thinking, just get a medium, but the medium didn't give it the fit that the small gives it, if that makes sense. So I was thinking about it afterwards, and I'm like, two options. Either I get the small and wear with no bra, because I did have a bra on, when i put this on or i don't get the outfit period so comment and let me know i do plan on picking it up after online if you guys think that it's a go but just comment and let me know hey guys so it is later on in the day it's currently 11 15 p.m and i did not end up getting anything from so, bro, I just ended up returning the sweat I showed you guys, the knitted one, and I also returned that corset that did not fit me. The sweater just wasn't doing anything for me, and then I'm just like, mm, I'd rather spend that money on something else. Okay. And it's not going to be a new camera, so I don't know what what this thing think is doing. I'm just doing my night routine, and I was like, let me just hop on camera so that I could just share some things with you guys. So my hair, I'm actually going to record a video because I received so many compliments today. And y'all are really liking it in my video. So I'm going to go ahead and record like a blow dry routine plus twist out or a twist out on blow dry hair, I guess we could call it. So to go to sleep at night, I literally just throw my hair into some big twist, which you guys are seeing me do now. 
and then I put on my hairnet and my bonnet and then the next day I wake up and take it down my hair is still looking good so I'm just doing that real quick and I'm also going to try a new product in my skincare tonight it's a product you guys saw me pick up early in the vlog but I told myself I'm going to use it for I'm going to use it for a week I'm so tired y'all I'm going to use it for a week and see what results we get. So let me finish twisting my hair and then we'll be back to do some skincare. And my camera's battery is dying, of course. Put each other on, okay? We put each other on. You could be buying something and you might be thinking, should I get it, should I not? And you know, a person or a woman will come and be like, you should get it. Or oh, I have it. Yeah, I love people that are not weird or like they speak. Because like, you know speak <laughs> so i just washed my face i'm gonna go ahead and apply my toner this is my oxygenating oxygenating elixir from cynthia this stuff feels so good on the skin oh my god i'll be going here sometimes i'll be putting a whole bunch of it on but yeah so you guys see i have dark spots so this is a product i picked up when i went to sephora with you guys earlier in the vlog it's a polish choice 10 percent azelaic acid azelaic acid is an ingredient that helps with even in the skin tone getting rid of dark spots hyperpigmentation so i went ahead and picked this product up to try it out and see what it's hitting for i kind of want to I don't want to say adventure, but I want to do my research and try out different products that can help me with my dark spots and my hyperpigmentation and hopefully have like more products that I can share with you guys. So what I'm going to do is for a week, I'm going to put down my topicals. And if you know me, for me to put down my topicals, it's a very big thing. So we're going to put down the topicals for a week and basically use this in, you know, substitution of the topicals. So... This is a Polish Choice 10% Azalic Acid Booster. It has licorice and salicylic acid as well. And the directions say once or twice daily, apply to face and neck. Maybe use alone or add it to your favorite moisturizer or serum for daytime. Always follow with the sunscreen. So I'm going to use this in the morning and at night. And you guys know I always put sunscreen on. So I put my toner on and now I'm going to go in with the Azalic Acid. It doesn't say how much you use, but I'm going to use the same amount. So just like a, literally a pea size of product. And this is thicker than the topical serum. I will say that. So we're going to see what it do. It doesn't have a smell. Well, it has a smell, but it just smells like skincare. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's not like fragranced or anything, which we like. So I just applied that on. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll give you guys an update in next week's vlog, like a one week update. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish my skincare and then I'm going to bed because the girls are tired. So, tomorrow will be the last day of this vlog and I already started editing it. So, you guys will have a video on Sunday for sure. For show, for show, for show. And then tomorrow I'm going to cut this vlog short because I'm gonna start recording for Vlogmas. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Hey y'all, so I'm about to close out the vlog, but I wanted to come out here real quick and speak to you guys about something before I close out the vlog. So, if you know me, if you know Kendra, if you know Kinesthetic, you know that I don't really watch shows like that. I don't really watch TV like that, but now that I got two TVs in my house, best believe i'm gonna be watching tv okay so tappy told me to watch this series on netflix it's called from scratch i'm sure you guys have watched it already or you guys heard about it but i just wanted to come in here real quick to just share some things without spoiling it okay because i hate when people be spoiling things don't come on here talking about something and assume i already watch it and not even give me a disclaimer like <laughs> rude so she told me to watch from scratch and when she first told me to watch it with her she was like, oh, everybody says they're crying over it. And, you know, I'm two episodes in and I don't get what the tears are about. But, baby, after episode four or five, bowling. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. boo hoo crying. Like, I couldn't believe myself. I'm like, I've never had such an emotional connection to a show. And I think it's because, like, I'll say this. 
it doesn't spoil the show so basically the show is about this woman who was in law school and she basically went to italy to like study art or do a semester overbroad or whatever the case was and she basically ended up finding a man i'll say that but y'all have to watch it i'm telling you guys and i wanted to come in here to tell you guys if you guys have not seen from scratch on netflix watch it it's good make sure you have some tissue close by and i was able to finish it in like two days you could probably finish it in a day but i just be needing breaks especially when me crying i'm like hold on my eyes need a little break <laughs> so from scratch on netflix and i've also been keeping up with abbott elementary and real housewives of potomac baby real housewives of potomac let me tell y'all something let me tell y'all something okay so i'm just gonna assume you guys are caught up if you're not you can go ahead and skip to this timestamp because i need to talk to y'all about this real quick because if you know me you know potomac is my show my girls will be in my dms we'll be talking about potomac because baby so my opinion on potomac this season is that one i hate and I don't really say the word hate because hate is a very strong word. But I hate the way that they're depicting Chris to be in this season. Like, what? Out of all people, Chris. Like, Chris literally used to cook for Giselle when she used to come over by the house. Like, I'm just like, maybe it's a Caribbean thing. But I'm just like, you don't disrespect people who invite you to your house, who cook for you, who do things for you, who put food in your mouth, who put money in your pockets, put clothes on your back. You don't disrespect them. So, when I see, like, I don't want to say American culture, but when I see people in general go against that, I'm like, who raised you? Like, I could just tell that you didn't have a correct upbringing because why would you feel comfortable doing this? Like, I don't get it. So, yeah, the way they're painting Chris out to be this season, I hate it. And today's actually Sunday, this clip. So, we're going to watch a new episode tonight. But either way, hate the way they're depicting Chris to be. Candace is better than me because when I tell you that I would have gave one or two people one or two thumps, like... Don't talk about my man, my man, my man. Like, my man, my man, my man did what? To you, five months ago, and you just don't want to bring it up? Oh, okay. Ashley got me real upset. Because it's like, you were just kikiing in Candace's house in her face. And now we are wine tasting. You had a little bit of a drinky drink. And now you want to tell me that Chris was looking at your friend at the, at the event. At the Spring Fling. And the producers are so petty, but I love it because they bring up the clips. Like, they have the receipts. Like, Chris not watching Mia. Chris not watching Ashley's friend. Like, y'all are so lame for this. And it's like, I know that production is probably telling them to say these things. Because I'm just like, like, what? But at the same time, production is also embarrassing y'all. So, what do you, what's really going on here? Hate it. Um... Karen, she's been minding her business this season, but I don't like the way she's avoiding Cherie. So I want to know what happened because I get it. I've been in a situation that Karen is in before where it's like somebody messes with my group of friends, but I don't mess with them. So I literally don't want to be there. But I've never fled the scene because I ain't no pussy ass bitch, okay? And I know you're not going to press me and I'm not going to press you. So we're just going to sit here and just have a good time without speaking to each other period so i don't know what happened between karen and sharice but hopefully we find out real soon that's karen mia i don't know how she reached back <laughs> i don't know how mia reached back like mia doesn't really add anything to the show but i feel like the producers keep me around because producers of shows like this they love people who will do whatever they say so yeah but one thing i want to say is we saw the preview for it this week's episode like tonight's episode and mia threw a drink at wendy and based on the clips mia put her hands on wendy therefore i wouldn't understand if the producers don't give me the same treatment they gave monique and gave her the boot so that's all i'm gonna say we gonna see what happens wendy i love wendy i'm actually reading her book right now which you guys saw earlier in the vlog when i was on the plane i love wendy but i do feel like wendy is a little lost in the sauce like i feel like i don't want to say this lifestyle but i feel like wendy is finding herself while she's on the show and that's absolutely fine but i do feel like sometimes i get lost by like what wendy's trying to give if i will say that so Hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying. Robin, I don't know when Robin got so much in mouth, but I'm low key here for it. Like defend yourself, sis, defend yourself. Because if you don't defend yourself, who gonna do it? But I do feel like Robin is kind of sick. It could be seen both ways. Like Robin is sick of 
of being viewed as like her and Giselle being one person and Giselle is sick of being viewed as her and Robin are one person. So it's hard to separate you guys when you guys came on the show or you guys created that bond earlier in the show and now you want to be seen as separate people but then you guys kind of do everything together. Like I get it from both perspectives but at the same time especially with me being like the youngest sibling I'm always like known like my brother's little sister my sister's little sister and it's just like no i'm kendra so i definitely feel like that sense of seeking individuality if that makes sense so robin she got a lot of mouth this season wanda want to be on tv please leave that man off of tv her sons are so grown now some of her hair looks i like like i like the hair color but whoever's doing her installs baby find somebody else and then her fashions have improved a lot i will say that giselle take that wig off take the wig off hate the wig where's the part who did this how did it reach on your head i have so many questions and i'm just like sis got a new birkin bag she got that pink birkin bag and she can't get a part in her wig but yeah giselle i don't know what you're trying to do this season baby but you need a new storyline because you ain't gonna you ain't going to come for Candace's man, okay? Candace could take it but so much longer because I know Candace got some hands on her, okay? Who else? Sharice. Don't know how she reached back. And, um, Peter. <laughs> Peter needs a peach. Peter needs a cherry blossom. Like, Peter is looking for attention and he's so freaking mixy. One of you guys sent me an interview that he did with, um, I don't know who the interview was with, but... They were like, oh, um, thoughts on the whole escape situation going on. And he's like, I don't mess with none of them. And they were like, oh, do you know who Candy is? He was like, do I? <laughs> I'll put the clip here if I can find it. Have you been following the drama with Escape and uh, Candy and Latasha? I don't fuck with none of them. <laughs> none of them? None of them. I couldn't give a fuck about Escape. None of them. Not even Latasha? Okay. I like Tiny, T.I.'s wife, and okay. her and I never really have strong dialogue. But I, I always feel like she's always true to who she is. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I like her a lot. But the rest of them, I don't know them. You know Candy? Do I? What beef do you have with Candy? I don't know beef with Candy, but I don't really know her. But that was hilarious, okay? But yeah, that's my thoughts on Potomac this season. Make sure y'all watch From Scratch on Netflix and comment and let me know what other shows you guys think I should watch. I also watch Abbott Elementary. I love Abbott. I actually need to watch Thursday's episode because I didn't watch that yet. But let me know what other shows I should be watching. I'm not into scary stuff, so don't leave anything scary down below. And I'm not into anything that predicts the future. So what is it? Blacklist, Handmaid's Tale. I'm not watching none of that. So anything other than that i'm into comedy i'm into you know i'm not really into reality tv i kind of want to start real housewives of dubai and real housewives of salt lake city so if you watch if you guys watch either of those series let me know but that is it for this week's vlog if you guys made it all the way until the end comment down below with an emoji that has green so i know who my girls and my boys who made it all the way until the end of this vlog are okay we have a lot of exciting things coming up I'm off from work this week, so Vlogmas Prep is on the way. I have a vlog for you guys next Sunday. I don't know how long it's going to be, but you guys will get a vlog next Sunday. And um, Vlogmas literally starts in a week. So I hope you guys are ready because I kind of sort of maybe am. <laughs> and this is going to be my first Vlogmas in my house. Like, I don't know if you guys are viewing it this way. But my first time putting up a tree, my first time like, you know, getting in the holiday spirit in my house. So I'm really excited about it. It's not going to be what I imagine my first Christmas in my house to be. But it's okay because we dream big so that we can achieve bigger. So I'm really excited to share my first experience living in my house, celebrating Christmas, and like just being in the Christmas spirit in my own space. So I really hope you guys are excited to see how I decorate, to see what we do. Because you guys will definitely be getting more vlogs this vlogmas season. I'm just going to say that, okay? So, that is it for this video. I will link as many things as I can down below in the description box. So, make sure you guys check that out. I have videos coming for you guys all week long. So, make sure you guys stay tuned. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. You are pretty. You are smart. You are important. Okay? You don't need this man. Tell me what's it all about? Like? Oh, you. Then you 